Learn how to control your emotions so that nobody else can ever trigger you again. What's up winners? My name is Abdul and I'm here to help you develop your life. Now as you can see from the title, today we're going to be talking about triggers, right? Things that people can say or different experiences that can happen that make you have a crazy emotional reaction for no reason at all. All right. So if you want to know how to control your triggers and have nobody else ever trigger you again so that they end up controlling you rather than you controlling yourself, stick around, watch this entire video and learn how to do that. So without further ado, man, let's get straight into this video. Now look, if you're just like me, you want to have complete control of yourself, right? If somebody says something, you don't want to overreact or react at all to what they say. You just want to remain in control because if somebody else can say something to you and then you just flip, you get super angry, super sad, or you just shut down, well, they have control over you more than you have control over yourself. So let me show you how to stop being triggered, okay? First things first, heal yourself so that nobody can say something to you that makes you react in a negative way or in any way at all, right? If you want to remain in control of yourself, you got to know yourself. You got to be in charge of yourself. You got to control you. You have to be free of your past wounds, right? I always will go to the core of whatever is, is, is being said, okay? So like, stop being triggered. You don't want to be triggered anymore. You don't, you don't want to emotionally react. You want to control your emotions. Cool. How do you get to the core of all of that? Well, that means you have to be peaceful at your core so that you never get triggered, right? So healing yourself is the way to not ever get triggered again, right? And I've already made a video on how to release you know, emotional trauma and your past wounds. It'll pop up here or here, so go ahead and click that. But the thing is, if you wanna be free of any type of reactions, you have to be free. Literally, you have to be free and set yourself free of everything in your past. That way, if anybody brings up that old girlfriend that you used to have or the bad grade you got or that one weird thing that happened that one time, I don't know, right? It's just not going to bother you because you've already resolved it and you've processed it within yourself. So let me backtrack a little, right? What are triggers, right? Well, these are things that can cause a massive emotional reaction for no reason at all. Right, and I'm talking no reason. Like there's no reason why you should be so upset that somebody said something, right? There's no reason. If anybody can say anything to you like I've been saying, and they can control your emotional reaction while well, you don't control yourself, they control you, all right? So that's what triggers are. Heal your triggers so that nobody else can make you do something that you don't wanna ever do, right? Or react in a way that you don't wanna ever react, right? In movies like James Bond or any any like superhero type movie you always see these like chivalrous charismatic calm ass dudes that are the main character right and what do they always do they have all the money they have all the cars they have all the women right they are literally so calm and peaceful you can see that they can remain calm being the center of attention nobody can make them do anything that they want to do or they don't want to do right here's this clip from james bond that i love i love this clip because this is literally emotional control to the utmost right it's such a crazy scene and there's no way that james bond should be responding in this way in this scene okay so here's the clip the password I've got a little edge down there. Would you mind? No! 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 To the right! To the right! To the right! You are a funny man, Mr. Bond. Now that's a crazy fucking clip. Right? Like after he gets hit in the balls like that, there's no reason he should have that much control over himself to respond the way that he does. Now I recognize it's a movie and it like he's not really being triggered, he's actually being physically hurt, but the same thing applies, right? Words can trigger you to react in a way that makes you number one weak, right? When somebody can control you like that, you're weak. 
all right when you react you're weak you're not the center of control in that scene he gets physically hurt and he still remains in control of himself which helps him control the environment that much better right so here's what you do if somebody's actually trying to trigger you right like in james bond right there he was trying to be triggered right the other person was trying to take his control away from him if there's anybody within your friend group or in any social situation or in any way shape or form that's trying to trigger you or take control of you by having you give a reaction this works incredibly well with women too because majority of the time they're just trying to ask you questions to try and get a reaction out of you if you can not react this literally means that you don't laugh, you don't smile, you remove eye contact, you remove all attention from anybody who's trying to consistently trigger you and get you to react. If you could remove all your attention and just not laugh or smile or even give them eye contact, you show them that you have control over your, over your attention. And if you have control over your attention, you have control over your energy. And when you can do this, I promise you, nobody can trigger you. You will remain unbothered and in control of yourself so much so that people are just attracted to you, right? You're just so unbothered and you could care less about what they say because you know how to control your attention. You're not gonna laugh, you're not gonna smile. If they say some weird things that you never want them to say again, you just don't say a word. You don't respond, you don't laugh, you don't smile. You take away your eye contact, you look at something else. You are just in control of yourself that if they do anything that you don't want them to do, you say no. That's not what I will tolerate. That's not what I will accept. And you remove your attention. I promise you, if you do this, you're gonna show them that you will punish their, their bad behavior. That's unacceptable by you. You don't do that. You don't disrespect me. If you do, I'm gonna remove all attention, right? That simple. There was this one time where uh, a girl called me gay, right? She was just like, I don't exactly know if she was trying to trigger me, if she was essentially confused. It really doesn't matter, right? But the sole fact of being called gay, I felt was a disrespectful act, right? Now, the first thing that I did was I tried to heal myself. I was wondering, okay, why did this thing trigger me, right? Why did I feel extremely disrespected, right? Which is an emotional reaction. I, I felt a certain way that was negative and I was like, what the fuck? Why is her calling me gay making me feel extremely disrespected and making me feel super angry? Right. And so the first thing I did was I tried to heal myself. I looked at the core. OK, what in my past would cause me to be turned off by this? Now, at that time, I, I was struggling with a, a bunch of different things of just like thinking that I was gay when I knew that I wasn't. But I was like, why do I think I'm gay? Blah, 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 blah. Right. There's all these different things that were just going on in my mind. And I was like, oh, shit she's she's showing me a piece of myself that i haven't fully processed okay and so now i could care less if somebody calls me gay i it doesn't fucking matter to me because what i did was i actually healed myself i looked deeper i looked to my past and i wondered what the fuck would make me react in such a negative way right i asked myself all these different questions trying to get to the bottom of this thing and it was porn related because i used to watch a shit ton of porn when i was younger and that shit just made me feel like i was extremely gay right it is so odd so odd right because you're watching all these people fuck and it's just like damn i'm looking at all these guys dicks and shit and it's just like what the fuck am i gay Right, and then this girl calls me gay, and then for some reason I, I, I get an emotional reaction that I can't put into words, and I have to heal myself. So anytime that anybody triggers you or you even get an emotional reaction, wonder what about this is making me act in this way, right? Use it as a way to find yourself within the mess, okay? And triggers are very beautiful things if you can realize that they're hinting at a problem or a, a thing that you haven't fully processed within yourself, all right? So that's how you stop being triggered. That's how you use triggers to actually become an advantage so that you can heal yourself in the long run. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you actually benefited from it and you loved it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with a friend. Make sure that everybody who's feeling triggered can actually benefit from it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day, man. Peace.